I am in yet another different area of my home. My kid is asleep in my room, so I am in her room doing this. It's a little bit messy, so excuse it. But she plays in here a lot. All her books are all a mess, and she's got toys over here, but that's okay. She is playing in her room and having some fun. I'm gonna talk about our bi-faced cleaner tonight. This is a two-part facial cleaner that is really, really fantastic, and I love it. This top part is a clear liquid, as you can see. It is like your typical, um, hey, Haley, hey, Cindy. Hi, Hi Nana. <laughs> My mom walked in. Um, this is like your typical regular cleaner, um, makeup remover, and then this is an oil base that's blue on the bottom. It is an oil based product that you will shake together and it turns into this light blue kind of foamy looking product. This is really, really cleansing and moisturizing for your face. As you can see, I've got a full face of product on. I'm going to take this and put it on one of my little cotton pads that I've got here. I also use makeup remover, um, they're like magic eraser towels, it's, but it's not that brand, I got them from Walmart. It's like a terry cloth that you get wet and it magically erases makeup. A lot of times I will use this with that just to take off my full face and I'm going to do half just so you can see how well this stuff cleans. I mean it's taken off a ton of stuff already. But I love the fact that this does not leave my skin dry at all. It leaves my skin completely moisturized. There is a little bit of that oil left on my face after I clean it off. And you can see how red I am compared. I got sunburnt yesterday. Never thought you'd be watching somebody take their makeup off on camera. I never thought I would be doing it on camera. But you just want to go through and you just wipe your face real gently and I always tend to do my foundation first and then my eye last so you can see it took all of that off really really quick and I'm just going to wet down the other side put just a little bit on my pad I always like to put the lid and close it before I do anything that way I don't knock it over because I've done that before with other products and I'm just laying this gently on my eye and letting it sit and just very gently moving. I'm not pushing. I'm pulling back, rubbing across the eyeshadow and across the mascara and the eyeliner. Just being very gentle. I'm not rubbing fiercely. You can see I'm not putting a lot of pressure. I'm using just one finger. I'm not digging back and forth. This will take your makeup off effortlessly. I know my lighting is not the greatest. Brighten it up just a little bit. There we go. See, that took all of that off. Again, just rubbing real lightly. Yeah, I can feel all my mascara is gone. And my skin is soft. And it's being hydrated and moisturized by the oil that is in that product. And you can see the difference. Um, I did not take my lips off yet. This stuff is awesome for even the most sensitive skin, like mine. Um, I know you've all seen my story. You know about my struggle with eczema. This is very soft and gentle on my skin. And it took one cotton pad to do my entire face and I had a very full face of makeup today and you can see the difference in all that product being gone just from this one little product and it's going to last I mean, and it separates pretty quickly um, you can see I shook it just a second but you can see there it's already starting to separate so you want to reshake it frequently to make sure those two um, processes the face cleaners are mixed wet down my pad. I'm going to go in with my textured side. I don't know if you can see that or not. Yeah, there we go. And then the back side is soft. I saved that soft for my eye. This will get down in the pores and remove anything and everything. Get in there in my eyebrows and take my eyebrow mascara off. Look, half my eyebrows almost gone. <laughs> hey, Christina. Hey, honey. 
and just clean all of that off. Today I wore my Stay Matte Foundation, set that with, or no, I didn't set it. I did my Stay Matte Foundation with my Peach Bright Palette. I also used our liquid concealer, um, translucent powder, and then I did um, liquid eyeliner, Zen Mascara, Black Shadow, all my shadow was, I did some of the Peach Bright Palette, and then most of my shadow, or all of my shadow, was from the Jaclyn Hill Volume 2 Palette. This kind of slightly red, and this black right here. But this is black shadow. Um, I did do a black eyeliner on my tight line, though. So this is just taking that stuff off. So the Stay Matte, as you know, is a full coverage. Hey, Christina, I am doing well. It is miserably hot here, and it's really not that hot. I'm just very uncomfortable. Um, how are you guys? I don't do the heat well. I hate it. Um, so how are you? You can see I'm just taking off my full face of makeup. As you know, the Stay Matte Foundation, it retails for $12.90. It comes in a little black tube. And I'm going to go back in with the other side to clean my eye off. It is... Um, it's got sebum-free oil control. It's got minerals in it that will minimize your pores and control oil. It's got very, very good coverage. Um, I love it. It's the first foundation that I ordered from pharmacy. Where are you guys? I forgot. It's just been gross here. It's been very humid. I think the heat index was around 107 today. So that's like gross. I'd rather be like at the beach, but I'm going in just a few weeks, so I can deal. I guess. I'm just going back over and getting, making sure I got everything off my face. From that eyeliner. Down my neck. And you can see how red I am compared to the beginning of the video because you can see my sunburn now. We had a state softball tournament, luckily here in Cape, this weekend, and we were out in the sun all day. So, three items, two products. Buy face cleaner, cotton pads. I only used two to clean my entire face. And you can see the shine from the oil product that's in that. I don't know if you can see that or not, especially right here in my T-zone. Um, I like to take this oil and rub it in so that my skin is very moisturized. It is protected and it's just good for your skin. My skin feels very soft in the morning when I wake up, especially if I don't do my skincare products and I just do this if I'm like really tired. I still have a moisturizing and skin protecting um, product. Uh, I saw that. That is so disappointing. Christina bought a new eyeshadow palette and it was supposed to change colors and she said it was complete crap. Um, the colors, I read her post earlier, the colors were awful. They were falling, you know, it was crumbling. The, the only thing really good about the product was it had cute packaging, um, which is Osage Beach. That's right. That's where we are going for softball nationals at the end of August. Um, it's at Osage Beach this year. So I like to go in and make sure all this stuff is rubbed around and in my skin and moisturized. I believe tomorrow, and I'll probably do it tomorrow evening, um, because it includes washing your face. Um, I'm going to demo the Rose Line products that I have from our Pure Rose Facial Cleansing Line. I did not buy the Rose Water or the Rose Oil because I don't necessarily need it at this point. Um, if I do need them, I will get them at some point. Um, but right now, they were not necessary for me for what my skin needs. Um, but I do, I'm saying um a lot because I'm losing my tra train of thought. I have the gel cleanser, the bar of soap, the rose clay mask, and the facial cream. So I will um, be demoing that probably tomorrow evening. I'll go in and... I wanted to do these videos in two different steps because it's very important that you remove your makeup before you wash your face. And I'll talk more about that tomorrow. But basically, if you're washing your face with your makeup on, you're scrubbing all that dirt deeper down into your pores. So you want to remove your makeup first. That's why you don't want to ever wash your face with your makeup on. Um, 
hey, we all love cute packaging and that just sucks that it's not the, uh, that it's the only thing and the product was not good. I feel really bad for you. Um, have you filed some kind of dispute or can you do a return or anything like that? Um, I know with pharmacy, if anything like that happened, you could uh, file a ticket and talk to customer service and they would be really good to help you. So I wish, I don't wish it was pharmacy because our products wouldn't do that, but in a sense, I kind of wish that that was so you would um, be able to get something even better. Um, but that really stinks. I'm sorry for that, Christina. So what is everyone up to? I mean, I'm pretty well done. Um, like I said, it was just a quick, short, simple video taking off your makeup with this really, really good product that I absolutely love. And it's added an extra step of moisture to my skin. That is great. And the good thing is, even though we don't have waterproof makeup other than our eyeliners, because waterproof mascara is really bad for your lashes, um, this will take off waterproof makeup. It is really, really good. It says, removes waterproof and long-lasting makeup without damaging delicate eye area. No oily residue suitable for all skin types. And now that my it is all in my skin, it is not oily at all. The residue means after it dries that there's nothing oily left. You make a homemade rose and aloe spritz. It's really super good for your... Ooh, that sounds really good. I make my homemade hyaluronic acid serum. And it's... I like it. Um, I kind of want to play, play around with it a little bit, but I really do like it. But you can see now my face does not have that dry, oily look to it. Um, it does here because this is always oily for me. This is just a very oily area. It is for most people. Um, but I don't have that shine. I mean, my skin is completely... You can see it. You might even be able to hear it. My skin is dry. Um, there is no... Uh, even though this is an oil-based product, there's no oily residue left on your skin, which is really really nice. It just is completely soaked in and it is completely moisturizing for your skin. So if that is it, nobody has any questions, you can find this on my website at makeupmama.net. Be sure to follow my makeup page on Facebook, the Makeup Mama at Makeup Mama Net, or follow me on Instagram at the dot Makeup Mama. Um, if you want to join my VIP group, drop me some purple hearts down below in the comments and I will add you into my VIP group where I share special deals, um, tips, tricks, um, information about upcoming products. We have a new product. If you've seen my story today, you know what it is. It's launching tomorrow. I'm really excited about that. We'll definitely need that before my trip to the beach in a couple weeks. Um, so be sure to always be watching my stories for updated information. Link me. It is makeupmama.net. I did a quick easy one. It's easier than saying pharmacyus.com slash Cassidy Hinkle. So it is a lot quicker. So makeupmama.net. Um, and it will take you straight to my site. And you can browse there to your heart's content. And if you feel so compelled to support me and my family, you can make a purchase if you wish. If you have any questions about products, shoot me a email at mama at makeupmama.net. Or you can send me a message here on Facebook and I will do my best to help you. You can also comment on this video as well so I know what topic we are kind of talking about. But I can color match you. I can find a foundation that fits your skin tone, your skin color, your skin type. Because we've got uh, foundations for dry skin, oily skin, normal skin, um, all kinds of stuff. It's on my profile too, Christina. So um, it's on there quite a bit um, with different things that I've posted. So you can find it, no worries. I can even message it to you if you need. Um, so like I said, color matching, foundation matching, I can totally help you. Let me know whatever you need help with. I'm so thankful for you guys joining me on this journey and supporting my little adventure and my family while I do this as well. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful Sunday evening. Remember that you can do anything that you set your mind to. It was Henry Ford that once said, whether you think you can or you can't, you're right. And that's something I've been trying to work into my brain lately, that I can do anything I set my mind to. That I'm stronger than I think I am. I'm smarter than I think I am. I am capable of hard things. I want you to work on some positive affirmations for yourself. I want you to name three positive things. Like I just said, I can do strong things. I can reach my goals. Things of that nature. Three positive affirmations for you. And I want you to put them on a post-it or a sticky note and stick them somewhere where you can see them every day. And see how much your life will change. I am here to help you, to encourage you, and in any way.
provides help that I can. I love you guys. Thanks for joining in. Bye.